Hi guys, Ryan here from Elite Automotive Diagnostics. Uh, today we got a it's a Peugeot 207 in the workshop. Customers complaint it's got a cylinder uh, number four misfire. Um, they changed the coil pack as you can sort of see. We've moved it over, um, and they changed the spark plugs. Fault still the same. Uh, so we have done a few checks ourselves, and it looks like it possibly could be an injector fault. Uh, the injector rail down there is a little bit of a pain in the backside to get out, so we don't want to go that route. Um, so what we have done is looking at a diagram uh, directly at the ECU we have access to uh, one two three and four injectors and they're all supplied by this uh, pin number five on the connector B and then obviously individually switched so what we're going to do is we're going to energize each injector manually um, to allow us to get a fuel pressure drop so we can measure the drop of the pressure. That will then give us an idea if one is flowing too much or not enough. So we have it set up here. Uh, just to run you through what we have, um, this is the power supply going in as I spoke to you on a diagram about. And then we have the ground side switch, um, which we're using the Sim Pro for. And obviously you can see our fuel gauge is set up. So our fuel gauge is just in the fuel line down there. We're reading 2.2 bar roughly. Um, the setup we have on the AutoSim Pro, we're using the the signal, uh, sorry, the power out um, option on the on the tool. Uh, we have a set of 40 pulses and then 10 milliseconds per pulse uh, of an active time and a passive time of five milliseconds. So yeah, pretty quick setup. Um, again, what we're going to do is we're going to fire number four injector, which obviously we can't see directly from the ECU connector and then it will give us a pressure drop. We're going to record each pressure drop and then see if any are excessively flowing. If they are, then obviously we can replace them accordingly without having to report a fuel row out, um, which obviously is a bit, bit of a nightmare on this one. So we're all connected up. Um, obviously the blue lead is going straight to the, uh, which will be the ECU control side of the injector. And the red lead you can see will be going to the normal power supply of the injector, which also feeds all the rest of the injectors. So we'll just press start here and you'll be able to see the pressure drop of the injector. As you can see, we've only dropped 0.2 of a bar. I've done the rest of these and they've all dropped at least 0.4 of a bar doing exactly the same test using the exact same parameters. So we can now carefully say to, well, accurately say to our customer, you need number four injector. There's a problem definitely with that injector. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it guys. Again, all we've done is use the AutoSim Pro to manually fire a fuel injector whilst watching, uh, sorry, whilst watching a fuel drop, fuel pressure drop. And we can safely say now to the customer, you definitely need to pull out your fuel rail. You definitely have an injector fault. I uh, just thought it was pretty cool, so I'll share that with you guys. Um, thanks again. Bye-bye.